हेलो आई एम मनु पन फ्रॉम अचीवर्स क्लासेस आज बात करेंगे ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशियोज ऑफ सम स्पेसिफिक एंगल्स फॉर एग्जांपल लेट्स टेक एंगल 45 डिग्री सो व्हाट विल हैपन लेट्स से वी हैव अ राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल ए बी सी वेयर दिस एंगल बी इज 90 डिग्री एंड लेट्स से एंगल ए इज 45 डिग्री सो as you all know what will happen to angle c this angle c will always be 45 because the sum of the all the angles of a triangle is 180 degree so this total makes it 180 degree and you also know that sides opposite to in equal angles are also equal so if we take this side as a this side will also be a now apply pythagoras theorem this angle uh, this side ac will be root 2a now let's come to this angles for si uh, this sin 45 degree as you know sin is defined as perpendicular over hypotenuse so perpendicular here is a and hypotenuse we have calculated as root 2a so it will be a upon root 2a that means 1 upon root 2 because this a and this a will cancel out cos 45 cos is defined as base over hypotenuse so our base here is again a and hypotenuse is root 2a this will again be a upon root 2a that is 1 upon root 2 10.45 this 10 is defined as perpendicular over base here both are a so it will be a over a that is 1 remaining trigonometric ratios you can easily find out because you know cos at 45 will be reciprocal of this so it will be root 2 sec 45 will be reciprocal of cos 45 so it will be again root 2 cot 45 will be reciprocal of 1045 that will be again 1 so these are the trigonometric ratios for angle 45 degree let's try and find out for trigonometric ratios of let's say 30 degree and 60 degree how will we do that Let's remove all this and start afresh. Let's draw an equilateral triangle here. So let's say this is an equilateral triangle A B C. And let us assume the all the sides of this equilateral triangle are 2a. The measure is 2a. So let's take it 2a and 2a. अब क्या करना है? Let's draw a perpendicular from this vertex A to this base BC. Okay. So this is 90 degree and let's call it as point D. Pause this video and think the length of this side BD and DC. How can we find this? As you you have already studied about the congruency of triangles. this congruency will give you this there will be rhs congruency because this 
90 degree angle opposite to hypotenuse and this side this triangle and this triangle will be congruent to each other so BD will be equal to DC so this will be A and this will be A because total is 2A so this will be half of this so this is A and A so now we have this what about the other angles okay because ABC was a equilateral triangle so this will be 60 degree this will be 60 degree and if uh, in triangle ADB these two angles are 60 and 90 so the remaining angle will be 30 degree this will also be 30 degree now it is easy to find the all these trigonometric ratios let's go for 60 degree so what will happen is sin 60 so sin 60 will be your what is sin just think it is perpendicular over hypotenuse and we can calculate the perpendicular we haven't calculated the perpendicular so we can we can do it again by pythagoras theorem so ad square will be ab square minus bd square that means 4a square minus a square 3a square so ad will be root 3a so this is root 3 into a so now sin 60 will be perpendicular over hypotenuse so root 3 a over 2 a that will give you root 3 by 2 because again this a and a cancel out cos 60 cos 60 would be base over perpen uh, base over hypotenuse so it will be a over 2a that means half 1060 1060 will be perpendicular over base so this is root 3a over a so it will be root 3 so I will ask you to find out all the other trigonometric ratios for 60 degree cos x 60, sec 60 and 1060. Now 30 degree. What about trigonometric ratios for angle 30 degree? So let's write sin 30 degree. What is happening? Sin 30. Now in this triangle let's see this triangle triangle a b d angle a is it or let's say let's call it b a d angle b a d is equal to 30 degree so corresponding to this angle as i already told you what will be the perpendicular BD and what will be the base it will be AD and this is hypotenuse so for sin 30 is perpendicular over hypotenuse so this will be A over 2A that is half cos 30 cos 30 this is base, this is hypotenuse. Root 3a over 2a. So this is root 3 by 2. Again 10, 30. This will be perpendicular over base. So it will be a over root 3a. That means 1 upon. Once again, it is 
Now you find out the trigonometric ratios for cosec 30, sec 30 and cot 30.